It is the 24th of the 12th, 2011. Happy Holidays, everybody. Let's go ahead and start tonight on SOT.net. New Zealand Christchurch is rocketed by yet another violent earthquake. Uh, Friday, December 23rd, Christchurch says it's facing a grim future after being hit by another violent earthquake. This is the third major tremor in 15 months. With scientists predicting many more to come, the experts predict that the quakes will continue to hit New Zealand's second city for the next four years as residents rapidly lose the will to stay with the cost of making good after each disaster spiraling upwards. And I was watching some pretty traumatic videos on this. A whole storefront fell down, people running out in the middle of the street. Massive oil spill moves towards Nigerian coast. Lagos, an oil slick roughly 350 square miles in, the, in size from a Royal Dutch Shell platform is slowly making its way towards the southern Nigerian coast, threatening wildlife and widespread shore pollution, Nigerians officials said on Thursday. The Royal Dutch Shell confirmed that the deep water spill occurred on Tuesday during what the company called a routine transfer of crude from float floating storage device in the Bongo oil field 75 miles offshore to a tanker. A leak, a leak in one of the transfer lines caused the spill. 350 mile, square miles in size? Wow. Pakistan earthquake magnitude 5.0. Um, looks like the depth was 34 kilometers so it was fairly shadow. A lot of people felt it. Series of strong quake hits New Zealand. City still recovering from killer quake. Um, this is ongoing with New Zealand, and again, they had a lot of uh, very, very good video on that out. And that's about all they have new tonight. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, they got some war drum stuff going. Evidence suggests China already hacking into U.S. drone fleet networks. We've got a cyclone warning issued for coastal regions of northern Australia. The Bureau of Meteorology says gale force winds up to 110 kilometers per hour are expected to develop late Saturday or early Sunday. And uh, so heads up, we definitely got a big storm coming your way, whether or not. Greece hit with heavy snow. Um, weather front hit the country early on Thursday with heavy snowfall in the north of the country and the high ground in northern and central Greece. Gale force winds and heavy rainfall in most parts of the country. And they have the Christchurch earthquake story, of course, uh, with the liquef liquefaction video going on with that. Um, some Batman movies going to use the Occupy movement as a backdrop. And um, Finland intercepts clandestine shipment of U.S. Patriot missiles bound for China. Uh, basically, they're trying to back engineer that. Heavy rains wreak havoc in, Tan in Tanzania, leaving 23 dead. Uh, at least 23 people were killed in flash floods that hit many parts of uh, the country on Tuesday, with Tanzania meteorologically meteorological agency issuing alert for more over issuing alert over more heavy rains in coastal areas and that's about all they have new tonight over to the RSOE um, of course we get the earthquake in New Zealand flash flooding in Tanzania cold wave still ongoing in India and uh, flash floods out of the city of Singapore. Uh, it's a pretty extensive flooding going on there. That's about all climate change I have for you tonight. Over to the nuclear stuffs. So we're going to go to e, e News. Top Japan official admits situation is not under control off-site of Fukushima plants. Government claim of cold shutdown conditions is meaningless. Like when Japan's army's retreat in World War II was called a shift in position. Uh, the NHK radiation is so high at reactor number three that still no gas detector is in place. Building must be decontaminated just to install the device. 
Uh, just in, government says nuke agency hid Fukushima fallout data. Panel to skewer regulators, science ministry reports. And uh, we've got a mayor out of British Columbia. Tsunami debris could be an issue that is much bigger than the district could handle alone. I found more in 10 minutes than in 4 years. It's all, ja oh, it's all of Japanese origin. And they're talking about all this huge mass of the debris and um, the ecological disaster that that might entail, like a you know a big tank truck wash up on shore, that kind of thing. Molten nuclear fuel could be exposed from the water at reactor number one. Um, NRC official tells Japan we don't understand what's going on in Fukushima reactors. You can't make a solid estimate until you know what the level of damage is inside. And that's about all I have for, new for you tonight. Um, had a great couple days off, totally recharged, ready to go. Uh, enjoying it for sure. So uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.